DMCA strikes, as anyone who's been streaming or watching streamers this year, uh, as you may know, it's kind of been affecting a lot of the ways people have to stream, play music on their streams, etc. And OBS released a new version this week, and this is what they said. This release adds a second audio track when streaming to Twitch, which will be saved to the VOD, which is the replay of your stream, instead of the stream audio. You can enable this feature in output settings when streaming to Twitch. Special thanks to Twitch for assisting during the development of this feature. This is huge. This is Twitch's way of saying, you know what? All these copyright strikes, all these DMCA warnings that streamers are getting, we don't want that to happen, and we are going to make sure there's a feature that prevents this from happening. So I'm going to show you exactly how you set this up absolutely for free using voice meter banana and your Windows settings. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over, just do a Google search for voice meter banana. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, the website is vbaudio.com uh, with a hyphen between VB and audio. And you want to look for their banana software. What They have a couple different versions of voice meter. You want banana. And what you want to do is just go down here and click the exe file download that and install on your computer which will require you to restart your pc immediately after installing and you'll probably notice once you install it that your discord settings your audio output settings all that's going to change but we're going to fix that as soon as your computer gets rebooted so i'm making sure i'm not covering any important info here but this is what voice meter banana looks like when you install it it's pretty much ready to go right away and as you can see your default input, which is my microphone, will immediately go to the first channel here. But we don't care about the hardware inputs. You can use voice meter to make your mic sound a little bit better for your stream and for Discord. But what I'm focusing on right now is just getting applications that you don't want in your VODs um, routed somewhere where you can keep them in a separate source inside of OBS. So as if you look up at the top of voice meter, you'll see something called virtual inputs. And the main one we're focusing on here is voice meter aux. So what you'll see here is that I have it set going to A1 and B2. So A1 is my hardware output, which is where my headphones are always connected. So for me, I use an uh, Astro mix amp. So I had to make sure A1 was set to my Astro mix amp. You just click on it, there's a drop down menu. It's not showing in OBS for some reason, but you just select your output in A1, and that is going to make anything that has the A1 selected audible to you. But that does not go, this is kind of a big thing, this does not go into the desktop audio of OBS. This is separate. This bypasses the desktop audio thing and goes straight to your hardware device without going into the desktop audio fader in OBS. So the next thing you're going to want to do is go into your Windows sound settings. So once you're in sound, make sure your au your outputs and inputs are how you usually had them. We're not going to mess around with using voice meter as our output right now. So for me, I made sure it was my mix amp again and that my input device was still my microphone. The important thing you're going for here is app volume and device preferences. And what you're going to want to do is for me, I use iTunes, you could do Spotify, and you don't really need to do this if you use Soundtrack by Twitch because it's already its own source inside of OBS. So you can already route it differently and change its output to voice meter aux input. Uh, that's what we were looking at before inside of voice meter. Make sure that it is set to that. And for me, I had to restart iTunes once I set this. So you might have to restart the software, but once you set it here, it should be good forever. Uh, and then you never have to worry about it again. So once I press play inside of iTunes and open up voice meter, you'll see that it is appearing over here in virtual input voice meter aux. And I have it set to A1, which is going directly to my headphones. And it's going to B2, which is what we're going to put inside of OBS. B2 is going to be the channel all the way on your right over here. And uh, this is called voice meter aux out, I believe. But as you can see, I'm hearing it right now. It's not being picked up in OBS right now. It's not going to my desktop audio, which is very important because desktop audio is going to get recorded to your VOD because that is your game audio. That is your notifications. If you have any that go straight to desktop audio, you want to make sure that that is still getting recorded. You just do not want your music player going into it. 
So we want to see it here in voice meter aux, and we want to see it out here in output B2. If I turn off A1, I no longer hear the music. So I need to have this selected for my sake, and then I need to have it selected at B2 for my stream sake. So you can't see it right now, but I have OBS open on one monitor and then I made this monitor have nothing on it just so I can focus on one thing without like my face getting blocked or anything like that. So I am clicking on settings in OBS. You probably know where your settings are. And what you're looking for here, make sure you have the most recent version of OBS, which is 26.1.0 or later, assuming that you're watching this video in the future. Under output, you want to find you have two options up here. Audio track, which is one. This is under streaming. Audio track one needs to be assigned because this is what goes to your live stream. So every output that you have selected to go with one checked, your stream will hear it. So if there's things you don't want your stream to hear, um, I don't really know what that would be necessarily. Maybe if you have like some kind of weird notification that pops up when you're streaming or something, I don't know. You should want everything to go to track one. That is your stream. Your stream will hear everything that is on track one. But now there's a new setting called Twitch VOD track and you want to check that and it'll auto select track two. Everything that's in track two will be recorded to the VOD. So this is completely separate. If you want your VOD to just be the sound of your microphone, you will make sure that only your microphone is on track two. And what else, I'll show you how to do that right now. When you're inside of OBS, click the gear icon next to one of your audio sources and bring up the advanced audio properties. So when you're inside of something here, you can see that tracks one, two, and three are selected for all of my stuff. But when I import my audio input capture, which is called iTunes, I made sure that it is not checked on number two. So, I can hear it on my stream, my stream can hear my music still, but when the VOD gets posted to Twitch, it will not be recorded because 2 is not checked. To set up the input for OBS, you're going to want to hit the plus sign down here and hit Audio Input Capture. I named it iTunes. All you're going to want to do here is make sure that you choose Voice Meter Aux Output is called VB Audio Voice Meter Aux VAIO by default. I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't need to mess around with this anymore after today. And hit OK. As you can see, I now have a separate meter inside of OBS called iTunes. And I'm going to open iTunes right now on my other screen and press play. And as you can see, it's only going to the iTunes channel. It is not showing up in desktop audio. So this is essentially what we are going for, is that we have created a separate output for OBS that you can still hear it, your stream can still hear it, but when your VOD gets recorded and posted to your channel, there's no background music anymore and Twitch cannot give you a copyright strike. You cannot get a DMCA takedown because there is no evidence that you played any copyrighted music on your stream. So while there are a lot of other things you can do with voice meter, this is a very easy way. It just takes a couple steps to get software routed into a separate output that won't get recorded to your Twitch VODs. This is gonna help so many people I know like we've all found the stream safe lo-fi playlists. We've been playing the Christmas lo-fi all December on my stream, but there's something about the personality of the streamer being portrayed through the music they choose to play, the vibe it sets for their stream, all that kind of stuff. And now we don't have to feel limited anymore on what we can play. Uh, you can do the same settings that I mentioned with Chrome. If you do prefer to play your music through YouTube, all you have to do is go in those settings and where I chose the output for iTunes, just set the output for Chrome instead. And you can change that on and off if you want. So if you want Chrome to only be heard on your stream uh, and not on your VOD, that's fine. You can just do the exact same thing I did with iTunes. And the same goes for Spotify. And like I said, if you're using the new soundtrack by Twitch, uh, that actually is its own source inside of OBS already. So you don't need to reroute it. You just need to make sure that it's not going to channel two. And that's it. But yeah, this should be everything you need to get your stream back to being DMCA friendly without limiting what you can play as far as music selection on Twitch. I hope this helped you. Uh, 
please share because this is good information that I think a lot of streamers need to know. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.